Hicks over to Hyman, up for the shot and good. Hiller's boys basketball took on Westwood on Tuesday, January 12th. In the JV game, Wyatt Stevens dropped 23 points for the Hillers. Full court pressure by the Hillers here in the closing seconds of the half. Stolen away by Wyatt Stevens to the bucket. And yes, it'll fall through. Nice steal there. Buzzer beater, a little short. And at the end of two, it's Westwood 25, the Hillers 20. Sam Pantera added 15 points. Boy, has this game turned. Pantera knocks down a three, just what the doctor ordered for the Hillers. The Hillers scored a whopping 26 points in the third quarter to take a 46 to 39 lead heading into the fourth. It is a Westwood rebound, put back no good there, and the Hillers have it off the Miss Robertson shot. And here comes Hopkinton, a pass over to the corner, knocking down the three, Wyatt Stevens. Wyatt Stevens knocked down a trifecta of threes in the third quarter. Players gathering close to each other, Kane up for the lane, no good. Also the defender has to be six feet away from the inbounder. Up for three, and swishing it right through Wyatt Stevens. Hiller's JV ended up taking the game 58 to 51 over Westwood. The defender and finds Fatahi. Fatahi up and oh. good plus the foul. In the varsity game, James McGowan knocked down four three-point buckets and five field goals overall to help Westwood outscore Hopkinton in the quarter 16 to 13. Trailing 36 to 29 heading into the third quarter, the Hillers responded with 23 points and outscored Westwood 23 to 20 to cut the Westwood lead down to four points heading into the final eight minutes. Keith trying to work his way by McGowan. Here he goes, pass to the corner, DiPietro for three, off the rim, no good. Keith with the rebound and the put back and in. Westwood, however, outscored Hopkinton in the fourth quarter, 16 to 10, and took the game 72 to 62. On Wednesday, January 13th, Hillers Varsity Hockey took the ice to take on the Wolverines of Westwood, looking to rebound from an eight to one loss the previous week versus Norwood. But you don't see it too often, not too, too often, no. There's a shot and that is in! Toko with the goal! Right off the post and in it goes with 17.08 left to go in the first half. And the Hillers take the one nothing lead. Sheamus, we'll wrap it back around Mara. Leaves it out, there's a shot and a goal! Joe Carazza! Hillers scored two goals in the first half. Westwood added one of their own with under two minutes left to make it a two to one game. It certainly is. Racing up the near side, Horseball. Leaves it out, can someone get there? There's a shot and that is in! The Wolverines respond. Paul Dyson with the goal. Hopkinton dominated the second half, silencing Westwood and adding three Hiller goals. Mira up against Fahey. Carrazza sends it back to Jarrett. Now to Carrazza. Leaves it out for Berman. Wrist their goal! Mike Berman! What a beauty of a shot that was from Mike Berman. And Carrazza with another assist. Along the corner. Here comes Mira. Leaves it for Carrazza. Racing in, there's a shot and a goal! What a beauty, Joe Carrazza, the sophomore! Ball. Over to Faye. Toko, to the empty net, and it's in! Jeff Toko with the finisher. The Hillers took the win over Westwood, five to one, and improved to two wins and one loss on the season 
Westwood fell to two and one overall. This past Wednesday, Hiller's Alpine Ski also hit the slopes with a number of different schools. Now, it looks like the snow is holding up pretty well. I mean, I see a few deep ruts um, developing mid-hill. I can't obviously see up over the hill. Um, so I do expect to see, you know, you know, some improvement in times between first and second runs. Yeah, but, a couple of seconds. I mean, oh, no, it'll be, we're talking, we're talking, tenth, if you can improve by a tenth of a second, that's a that's a significant oh, really? improvement. Okay. Yeah. Ski racing is is a game of hundreds of a second. Now from down here, from this angle, the slope looks fairly flat. Is it, a, or are there dips and such that we aren't seeing? No, here? not really. It's it's relatively flat. It's it's well, it's it's uh you know it's a consistent okay. Uh, a uh, consistent slope, I guess, is what I would call it. Sure. Um, and that's great, right? Because for those folks who have not, you know, had a lot of formal training, mm -hmm. it, it takes a lot of the intimidation away and really, you know, makes it more fun. Both the Hillers ski teams finished second place in their first meeting of the season. This was the best team finish for the girls in program history. Kate Barry was second, Kiara Niss fifth, Libby Herlehy was sixth to lead the girls, while Jackson Schlusel was first for the boys, Jake LaRoche was fifth, and Cameron Hanna was seventh for the Hiller Boys Alpine Ski Team.